Hey there pellet burners, I got some information for you to make your stove run real smooth and uh, you're going to have an easier time uh, bumping the temps depending upon the outside air temp uh, weather outside that you're dealing with. Now if you've went through my videos, you know how to set your stove up, how to set the PR settings, the feed rates and all that sort of stuff. I found over last year and this year uh, that this, the stove runs much smoother if you eliminate, in other words, don't use setting number five for your high temp. And the reason for this is that your stops are set according to your computer board uh, from your PR1 setting and your PR5 setting. So when you're running a high temp on PR5, what's happening is you're bumping up against the top stops, the limits on that uh, computer board in there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to set it up to where you're using only one through four on your uh, uh, PR settings and it runs much smoother and it gives the, uh, the computer board uh, a lot more leeway to adjust on the high temp side which is where everybody's having the problem. Okay, yeah, as you know, it's very important to have consistent moisture-free fuel. I'm using right now 100% hardwood. You need to have your stove on auto mode and the dampener about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half out. Now, in order to keep the heat as high as what you want it and consistent, you need to adjust the dampener appropriately, leave it on auto mode. If you take this, your burn box, you want the flames to be going right up to the top. As the fuel burns, your flames are, should be reduced down about midway. So when the fuel drops, the flames go up. As the fuel burns, it goes down midway. If you end up putting too much air in there, you're going to keep your flames down low and all of your heat is going to go right out the stack. Make sure you got that set up right and it, it, you'll, you'll burn a lot less fuel and get a lot more heat. Now, I don't use setting five anymore. Uh, and the reason is is that the computer will regulate from PR1 to PR5. Those are your stops, your bottom stops, your top stops. If you're running at 650 and you're at setting number 5, you don't have any leeway if that stove gets too hot because your fuel temps will uh, fluctuate depending on your on your fuel even from bag to bag you're going to be bumping those stops and then it, it's not going to run smooth so what we're going to do is we're going to run I'm going to show you how to set this up you're going to set now these are the settings what I'm running right now on mine I've got the PR1 set up at 1.1 I'm getting a door temp of 300 degrees I've got PR5 which is your top setting set up at, at uh, 4.0 pounds per hour. Now under these two settings, it'll give me a door temp on setting number four of 650, and then it just interpolates down. And these are approximate uh, door temp settings there. It will change according to your fuel. Uh, you know, I can get a, a, a one ton of pellets, and some of them burn real hot, and then you'll get a few bags that are not so hot. So. Uh, you got to kind of keep an eye on that. But if you set your stove up to run one through four, it's going to run much smoother, much more reliable. Don't use five at all. That's your buffer zone on that top end is setting number five. Now, if I run on thermostats, I like to shuttle between one and two. So what I'll do is if I want one to run at, at uh, let's just say uh, uh, 420, I'll bump this up to like uh, 1.7. So 
So I get 420 on setting number one. And I'll set my thermostat to kick on, go to two, so it here instead of getting 420, I might get 550. So I can set it up according to the outside temperature, what the house is demanding for heat to keep it at 72 degrees or whatever, wherever you want to set it. Bump your number one setting up to raise your temp. It will raise all of these up. Now just remember if you're running on manual operation, as far as selecting your heat settings, always run your stove on auto automatic. If you bump this bottom setting up here, you're going to be over 650 up here. You're going to be 650 here, and then 750 or who knows what there. So just remember that. Leave your top setting the same. Move your bottom setting to control your heat range on your door. And for those of you that haven't done it yet, you need to have an infrared uh, laser temp gun to find the hottest spot on your door. And also, it never, never hurts, and you probably are doing this by now, get yourself a notepad so when you make changes you can see where your temps are running so you don't have to be hunting and pecking and searching to try to find out where you want to set it. With your, with your grade of fuel that you're running. And you might get another ton of pellets and um, they might burn real hot or they might not be. So if, by keeping a notepad, you'll know exactly where your stove is running. So this, this is the smoothest way to get it running. Don't use heat setting number five. Use one through four and then adjust them out accordingly. Happy pellet burning.